What's going on guys? We got a chest and tricep workout coming at you. So starting this one off, just like we started out the last chest uh, workout, some push-ups, 250. So I, I keep, you know, just keep adding them in, um, you know, until eventually I get to like 5,000, you know, and then it's gonna take me like, you know, all day to do them and, you know, no, never mind, never mind. So yeah, 250 push-ups, just, just a warm-up to get, you know, get blood in the chest, get blood in the triceps before we start hitting this chest workout. So starting off with some cable crossovers, standing. Uh, so this machine, you're actually supposed to sit and, and, you know, be a normal person, sit and do your cable crossovers, but we're gonna stand. I really want you guys to drive your back into the, the pad. Okay, get that chest out, get those shoulders retracted. And remember with this one, we're focusing on getting those elbows as close as we can and crossing the hands over, working that shortened part of the pack, that shortened range of motion of the pack. Um, and again, you don't need to go super deep. You just need to go until you feel that stretch in your chest. So you can see I'm not going that deep. Um, so I'll go, you know, I'll do, I'll cross my hands over until I can't anymore. And then I'll just bust out like five or six um, partial uh, reps at the end there to really just drive the blood in there. Uh, 10 to 12 reps with these to, to start out um, since this is a, the, the first movement we're doing. So that movement is kind of a primer for this next movement, which is going to be a high incline, uh, high incline press. And we're gonna add a pause in. So we're gonna add the pause in at the bottom. And the reason we're pausing is because I want you to really focus on, with, the, with this high incline, I really, you really have to focus on activating your chest and not using your shoulders and your triceps to drive this weight up. So what the pause does is it forces you to consciously think about activating your chest at the bottom to drive those elbows up. So from this angle, you can see that my wrist my elbow, my shoulder, and my chest are all in line. They're stacked. And that's key because if, you're, if your wrist is in front of your elbow or behind your elbow, you're gonna be losing power and you're not gonna be transferring the weight. You're not gonna be transferring that tension into the right spots. The other thing I want you to notice is the angle at which my arms come down. Um, so you can see that I, my arm, my elbow, and my upper arm, my my lower arm, I'm sorry, my wrist, that angle forms a 90 degree. So what I want you to do is keep it keep it 90 or even wider. Um, because if you go, the wider you go, the more tension you're gonna feel right on your chest. Um, so give that a shot. Next up, we got a variation on that French press um, that I'm, that I'm uh, you know, keen on doing. So with the cables, you can do just a basic uh, v bar just grab that and just French press um, partial range like like we said before in the other video um, you know just going with that partial range you can kind of you can you can load this one up pretty heavy um, with, with the with the cable stack so um, that's a great you know constant tension movement to throw in there going back to a chest movement doing some four second negative flat dumbbell press um, so I picked these up from Julian and uh, you know, I just decided to give them a shot and they were so hard. Um, you, like you can see, I'm using 40s here. I think we're doing you know, 10 to 12 reps, um, but you know, that four, four second negative. Um, and again, look at how my elbows, my elbows are going very wide, but I'm still keeping, I'm still keeping them tucked. I'm not going, I'm not flaring them out. I'm still keeping them tucked at the bottom but what I'm doing is when I'm coming down with that weight, I'm focusing on getting my elbows out, stretching that chest. Um, so, and it, these kill, um, these kill. So we, what we did was we superset these with just a lying um, uh, dumbbell fly, uh, which I haven't done in a while actually. And you can see here, I'm gonna do a replay. The little squiggly, the little squiggly movement. So what, what am I doing there? I'm tucking, what I'm doing is like tucking my lats in underneath and retracting my scapula onto this bench. And what that's doing is raising my chest up, allowing me to get a better stretch uh, in my chest. So 
you know, <laughs> hey, if you gotta if you gotta do a little squiggly, you know, squiggly dance move to get into the right position, do it. All right, because it's it's good. These these feel these felt great too. Um, I like I said, I haven't done these in a while, but um, you know, don't you don't need to go all the way up with those. Um, obviously, because there's no no tension at the top there, but just staying in that active range of motion. Uh, just really driving blood in, into the into the chest. Next up, we got another one of my favorite movements here: um, dumbbell skull crushers. And uh, you know, last time I showed you guys these, we were on the floor. Uh, now we're on a bench. You can do them either way. Um, the key is getting that dumbbell all the way back. Uh, and what we did was we superset those with some dumbbell skiers. I'm gonna call them. Um, but I, these are awesome. Okay, lightweight, you have to use lightweight, but it forces you to focus on contracting your, uh, your tricep. And um, basically, you're, you know, you're just, you're just doing like a skiing motion. Uh, but lock the elbow in, you know, lock the upper arm in place, okay? That's key. I mention that every single time. Lock that upper arm in place and just focus on squeezing, squeezing that tricep. Um, give these a shot because look, I'm using 10 pounds. Like they're awesome. I mean, go high rep with it. Uh, like 15, 15 and 20 rep. So in our gym, we don't have a, uh, like a true cable crossover machine. Um, and it's, you know, it, because the cables are directly across from each other, you get a really good squeeze in your chest. Um, we just don't have that. And so you know, one day I was, I'm messing around with this, uh, it's like a free motion air machine. And I decided to face it um, completely on accident. And I was actually like, I think I was adjusting the machine and I like pulled it, I pulled the cable like towards my chest. And I was like, oh wow, like that was a great contraction. And so I just decided to try it. So what we're doing here is cable fly, uh, but we're gonna go low, medium, high. Low, low, medium, high, and and, and do that rotation, um, and you, you're not focusing on crossing over. You're just focusing on squeezing in the middle there. And those, after doing um, like, after really stretching it out with the dumbbell fly, um, doing those right after is is great. Um, and then last up for this workout, just a wide grip uh, tricep press down. You guys know I love. Yeah, this this wide grip press down variation. Um, so using the lap bar right now, and um, with that angle, like I, with that angle, I wanted to show you guys how tucked my elbows are. So keep those elbows tucked in at your sides uh, as much as you can. So yeah, that's gonna be the workout, guys. Chest and triceps. Give some of these movements a shot. If you're liking them, leave a like, leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Zach, Zach, I was like, yeah, I just bought the uh, the red dragon. How is that a camera name, the red dragon? <laughs> <laughs>